Today, I'm happy to be interviewing Linda, and I'll let her say her last name. She is a marketing star in Belgium. Um, she works in Dutch mostly, although she can help English-speaking folks as well. And I'm excited for her to share her marketing framework with you all. I think you might find it helpful too. So uh, let me share Linda's bio uh, with you, and then I'll, I'll bring her on the call here. So Linda is a marketing strategist and coach who lives and works in Belgium. Uh, although she does have clients in other countries, uh, she works mostly in Dutch. In a former life, she was a psychotherapist and life coach with a full practice. But after going through some, some difficult transitions, she has changed course and is now on a mission to help heart-centered entrepreneurs find their authentic marketing voice. Linda, great to have you here. Hi, George. Yeah. and <laughs> My name is Linda Nuts. It's spelled N-U-Y-T-S. Yes, and it's, it's very difficult in English to, to, to say that. I it's, not, it's not just the English nuts. It's not that. It's, say that one more time. Nuts. Okay. So now that it's, it's, on, it's on recording, we can all practice it. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> so uh, great to have you here. Uh, I should mention you're a member of my Master Heart Group Coaching Program, and it's always wonderful to have your presence there. Um, you help so many clients uh, in, your, in your work. Uh, they love working with you. You not only have the business and marketing insights and, and skills, but you also do, of course, you've been a psychotherapist, life coach, so you have the inner game that you bring to, to the table. You also do um, EFT, is that right? You do some EFT? Yes, that's one of the tools I use when people get stuck in yes. um, something, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. And you have a, a new framework, I'm looking at my notes here, um, called Bliss, B-L-I, with three S's at the end. And yeah. uh, you know, I will let you share, share however you wanna share about the framework, or how, how would you like to start? Well, um, I would like to talk first about the difficult transition I've had. Yes, yes. In my bio, because that's, what um, helps me explain what I do. Mm. So I used to be a coach and a psychotherapist and I had a full practice and I loved it. It was great. But I went through some tra uh, um, a traumatic divorce actually and I had some uh, trouble helping others. I was always in pain in, in, and so it was difficult. So I quit. I stopped my practice. I thought I'll stop it for a year. And I went salsa dancing and that was very therapeutic. That was great. And I met new people and, and so I had this um, change. But then I went back to being a therapist and um, it didn't feel right anymore. So that's when I thought, okay, what else can I do? What else do I have? What skills do I have? How can I help people? And I just listed all my skills and those were in the online marketing uh, area, like um, making WordPress websites, making uh, newsletters. So all the technical and very practical stuff. So I listed that all up and I put it on Upwork, like a freelancer site. And um, I just got calls from uh, people in America and English speaking people and those were all coaches because they recognized my story and they thought oh I want her to help me and so that's how I changed my work and I started helping um, those heart-centered entrepreneurs with very practical things that was my first, uh, my first work. And then I thought what I do in, for English uh, talking people, I can do for the people here in Belgium and the Netherlands. So I reached out, I went to a network meeting here, I started blogging here, um, and I had my first clients within two weeks after my decision. And, um, but then I always, mm -hmm grow and change and um, I started noticing that when people come to me with practical issues like a website and I ask okay but what's your strategy behind 
your website they go uh, I don't know <laughs> I want a website so then I started developing some um, a workshop around uh, creating your marketing strategy but a strategy that feels good to you that feels authentic um, and then I, I realized that many people then have the technical side, the plan, and then they get stuck because of the mindset. And so I thought, okay, we're back to the, to the beginning. Let's do uh, coaching and, um, and um, have the, the energetic, um, have, yeah, I, I don't. Support, yeah. yes. Yeah, the energetic support. Uh, sometimes something just happens. You can see that there is some an issue. There is maybe some sadness, some fear, and then energetically resolved, resolve that, and then we can move on. So that's yeah. my story. Thank you for sharing. I think it is wonderful that you have both the technical skills as well as the inner. Um, skills of unblocking helping people to get unstuck so yeah. thank you thank you for for doing your work so i would love to for you to share your the five aspects of building i'm just looking at the notes your five aspects of building an aligned business uh, yeah. for for heart for heart center entrepreneurs yeah yeah uh, so this is a little it's, it's a bit new for me to put it in this framework but um I love putting everything together. I, it's hard for me to, to only focus on one aspect of something I think it's more than I get. Oh. And it's also hard to put things in one, two, three, four, five steps. It doesn't work. So it's aspects and they all blend together more like in a spiral than, than we are in this, than we are there, than we are there. So that's why I call it aspects and not steps. Mm. Uh, and the first one is all about alignment and um, I love helping people there these heart-centered entrepreneurs because I love how they have these beautiful visions and missions and they want to help the world world and spread the word and and so they are very passionate about what they do and uh, a client called me her dream catcher and I love that. I love that. That's actually what I do. They come to me with a dream and I catch it and we work on it and we manifest it. So that's, that's, that's a, re a beautiful uh, metaphor. So the alignment is important for me. And um, it's like uh, the metaphor of the lighthouse. Now, that's not my metaphor. I read it in a book. So the lighthouse was standing there and just shining his light to guide the boat. And some boats will follow the light and other boats have their own guidance and go another route. And the lighthouse will not go into the water after the boats or go up and down the shore to get all freaky about, hey, why are you not watching me? So be the lighthouse. So that's important. And uh, making the light strong and clearing the glass as before the light. So th yeah, that's, I thought that was a great metaphor for that first work of being the power in your power and shining your light and attracting people to your light. I love that metaphor. That is wonderful. Yeah, it's great. So what do you mean by polishing the lens you know, say more about that. How, how, how does that, how do we apply that? Um, there can be like fear or um, not believing in yourself mm. and in your light and yes. in your power. Yes. And that will diminish your light. It will um, make the glass not... Yes, foggy or, or dirty, foggy. yes. Yeah, so then your light isn't going to reach the people you want to reach. Yeah. That's where the EFT or other clearing techniques come in to make sure the light is uh, bright. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So, but then the metaphor of the of the lighthouse, it might um, give the impression that it's not important to take action. So mm, there's yeah. the so, 
and it is. And I, sometimes you have people who say, oh, but then can we sit all day and visualize and send out the light and just have everything come to me? And then I think, yeah, maybe, but what's the fun in that? There's no fun in sitting in your couch and attracting everything because I think we are creative beings and we want to be part of the part of the action like with the hands in the clay and, and, and creating things so yeah you could attract it from the couch but I don't think there's much much fun in that so taking action from alignment is I think something that's really fun to do and so I start working with people around uh, the money side of things um, often I work together with a business coach on this or I send them out to a business coach um, I can do it myself if they really want to but it's often uh, to, uh, together with somebody else so where we go to really take a look at what is it what is it you um, you need what amount of money you need for your expenses uh, for your uh, lifestyle for your business growth and dream a little bit. Now, not like the big dreams and the, well, <laughs> I hate it, but just, okay, what is it you want? What's your next goal? Where do you want to go from here? And do you need more money for that? And then make a real, real the, the numbers real, um, your money goals real, like not, uh, what well, 10,000 uh, euros would be great. No, it's something realistic. So that's, that's a part. An aspect. And, and I should say, you know, the money goals can grow and change over time. Yes. But yes, I think where you are now to the next stage, you know, if you're not making any money right now. Oh, from now on 10,000 euros in the next six months is not... Yeah is someone can sell you that dream. But mm -hmm. as business people, as experienced business people, we know that that's not probable. I mean, yes, anything can happen, but, but a, a reasonable goal will create more stability and create, yeah, a more reality and less stress, right? Yeah. Than just going very fantasy. But eventually, maybe you will make 10,000 or 100,000 euros a month, who knows? But, you know, yeah, so I, I appreciate that you, you give that kind of uh, uh, yeah, realism. Stages. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, one thing I noticed um, where I think I have um, uh, some extra value for people is I can easily detect where they go um, stop themselves. When they go from the vision and the dream to the money goals, they go... <clears throat> And they freak out and then we can do all the energetic world to work to release the money blocks and uh, uh, but it's very connected to something practical so we we work through the money goals and we work on the money blocks at the same time so not like let's work on money blocks because we all have them no very concrete what's happening now so i think that's that's important for me for me that's a wonderful yes that's a combination yeah yeah and then the third aspect is the business model and um it's the same thing here always uh, uh taking a look at what are my values what's my lifestyle and how can i align the, my business model with those things with my light with who I am so that's another important aspect and I, I love that part because it's very creative I think business models you can just do whatever you want <laughs> you don't have to follow one business model just take a look at different ones and mix it up and create something so I love that process and it's the same thing here they will go people will go into um, beliefs and uh, all the, those things around uh, not only people me too I have this too <laughs> when I stretch myself to go to another 
I have another goal, then I will encounter all these beliefs myself as well. So that's the third aspect. And then the fourth, I had five, I thought. One, two, yes. three. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. The, the fourth is the marketing strategy, right? Yeah, the marketing strategy. <laughs> that's where I started. Yes, the fourth is an aligned marketing strategy. That's where um, the it can be so overwhelming, all this information and advice on marketing strategy and what we should do and what we should not do. And I have this tag on my website and it says you you don't have to do anything. So in and in Dutch it's it sounds better. <laughs> but it's like stop it. You don't have to do anything. Just look at what you want to do, what feels good, what fits your soul and do that. So and that's where we go uh, look at what is what is it that makes you happy? Like is it uh, one on one is it writing is it videos is it it can be anything but does it make you happy so that's where we go into the marketing strategy and align that with the personality as well okay and many many of my people are in the uh, content and relationships it's it's i think that's yeah, I can see that happening. We could do other things. You can do anything. But when it comes to um, marketing your, your uh, passion, then content and re building relationships is very important. I noticed that. So I help them with that. And then we create a plan, an action plan. And... Um, uh, that's very, very concrete. So we, we take 90 days and we really map out what you want to do every month, every week, every day. And they go then home with a plan. And then they start and it's possible they get stuck again then and then we can do some coaching mm. around that. So that's what yeah. the framework. That, that sounds great. And it's very reasonable. And uh is this the bliss uh yeah the, the bliss is is in there but um it's the, the letters stand for words but they are in dutch they're in dutch so, do you want to yeah. say the, do you want to say the dutch words for those yeah. who understand bliss, dutch bliss is uh bewusterde van wat is the l is uh i can say that one in this english it's listening to the whisper of your soul the E is from from in from inspiration to intention. So that's setting the goals and making it more real. And then the S is for sabotaging yourself. Sabotere yourself. The next S is for um, steun vragen van het universum. Ask the universe to support you. Hmm. And then the last S is for the um, create a plan, take steps, create a plan. Yeah, mm. those are the are the words. That's yeah. great. So that's that is in the in this five part framework somewhere. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Good. That's wonderful. So um, I know you're going to be teaching a a workshop. Is it, an, is it an online workshop or, or in-person workshop? It's uh, both. Oh, it's both. okay. Uh, yeah, it's a small group. Um, minimum four people, maximum seven. Oh, um, it's like a little mastermind I, group. Yes, a little, little mastermind group. I want four because um, I want the group energy. Mm -hmm. People are learning a lot from each other and having ideas they would not come to otherwise by themselves. And maximum seven because I want to have them all enough personal attention and really work on their marketing strategy, yes. not just listening, but really working. So I, I do um, uh, one workshop here at, in my house here. And the other one is uh, via Zoom um, 
online because yeah, Belgium and the Netherlands, it's it's big area, so not everybody can come here. So, uh, so if anybody would like to have it in English, I could try. I could pick another date and do it in English. Yeah, yeah you could do it in English via Zoom. So it's people from yeah. you know North America or uh, other other places, Europe, Australia, etc. Yeah, uh, could, it would be fun. Could but that, that sounds great. I love that you have this small group model so that you can really give the attention to, to each person, but there's also the benefit of cross-pollination um, cross, uh, ideas, um, support, yeah. encouragement. So yeah. that is wonderful. Uh, thank you for, your, for doing your work, Linda. Um, is there anything else that you want to share as part of our, our interview today? Uh, no, uh, I think I've said I've said it all. Okay. Uh, I, I I just love work doing this work because I really can feel that I help people put their light into the world, and that makes me happy. It's a it's a great metaphor. I love I love that starting with the the lighthouse, shining the light, foundation strong, um, empowered. So yeah. thanks thanks for this. And oh, and we should mention your website. Yes, it's my name, George. <laughs> <laughs> dot .be, right? Dot .be. It's lindanats.be. And L I N D A N U Y T S dot B E. N U Y T S dot B E. And of course, I'll put the link in the notes of the video. Uh, right now, the website is all in Dutch yeah. currently. But just those who watch this interview, if, you're, you know, if you speak English, then you could still work with Linda, just reach out to her. Of course, she is fluent in English. So that is wonderful. Um, well, thank you so much for Linda. And um, uh, I wish you well on, your, on the, the upcoming workshop. You're welcome. Thank you, George. Thanks.